Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Friday to you. Good morning. Hey there, Heartbeat Alia. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Hope you guys received sweet sleep last night. Woke up with bells and whistles on. Hey there, Heartbeat Nicole. Thank you so much. Hey, Heartbeat Elaine, Heartbeat Donald, Heartbeat Yolanda. Good morning. Happy Friday. Wherever you are, come on, let's give God a praise because he is just good like that. Hey, Heartbeat Melody, Heartbeat Eva, praise him because he is God. Praise him because he is king. Praise him because he is the Messiah. Praise him because he woke you up this morning. Praise him, glory to God, because you are not the same person that you used to be. Praise him because you don't answer to the things you used to answer to. You don't go the places you used to go. Praise God. God, on this Friday morning, you made it to the end of another work week. Give God glory on this morning, for he is just so good. Glory to God. He is the King of Kings. He is, glory to God, the Lord of Lords. He is whatever you need him to be, whenever you need him to be it. He deserves our praise. Glory to God on this Friday morning, for this is the day that we have, he has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We beseech you, O oh Father, save now, send the prosperity now, for this is the day. It's a new day. We've never seen it before, and we will never see it again, but God has graced us the power, the ability to be in it, to have breath in this day. Glory to God. The day that we can do something new in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Well, welcome to the Gathering of Hearts. I am Regina Banks your GPS to wholeness, aka the heart gatherer. And this morning, your daily dosage is clear the room part two. Clear the room part two. So you know, we talked about the account yesterday in Mark 5, 35 to 42, and we talked about getting up. And I like the way Heartbeat Troy said it on yesterday. He said, get up and do it with God. And that, I, when I read that, you know, I go back and read your comments. When I read that, I was like, that's the ticket right there. Get up and do it with God. Don't try to do it in your own strength, but do it with God. And so let's think about that. Let's go back to that. He cleared the room, right? And so get this. Before he healed, he cleared the room, which means this. God clears the room before he comes and talks to you and have that conversation with you. You know, he heals, he clears the room before he heals you. That is a great thing. He cleared the room before he walked in there. He was like, everybody can't go in here. Let me just take my select few. He cleared the room and then he dealt with the young lady. That is when he told her to get up. And so that is the blessing in God, a blessing in itself from God how God never exposes us. He doesn't do that, but he clears the room before he heals. So now, now that he's told us to get up, what is it that we needed healing from? What is it that, you know, caused us to go to sleep? And how is it that we don't fall asleep again? You know, remember, God had to tell us to get up, get up and do the things that he has called us to do. So how is it now that we do not fall asleep again? Pray all the time. Amen. First, that's, there are three steps that I'm going to give you, and they're really, really simple. Three steps that you do not fall asleep again. Simple. Rejoice, pray, and give thanks. First Thessalonians 5, 16 and 18 says it like this. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing and give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. The message says it like this. It says, be cheerful no matter what. Pray all the time. Thank God no matter what happens. This is the way God wants you who belong to Christ Jesus to live. And so now he's giving us, he's saying, this is the way that you're supposed to live. The voice translation says it like this. Celebrate always, pray constantly, and give thanks to God no matter what circumstances you find yourself in. This is God's will for all of you in Jesus, the anointed. And so there are three steps to make sure that we never ever fall asleep again on what God has called us to do. It says rejoice always, celebrate. And so we've got to learn. Let, 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 let me say it like this. When you think about these three steps to rejoice, pray, pray 
and give thanks. If you do those three things all the time, you cannot fall asleep because you are rejoicing in all the things of God. You are being cheerful no matter what because you realize your joy is not in the world. The world didn't give it to you. The world can't take it away, but the joy of the Lord is your strength. And so when I stay in these three steps and I'm rejoicing no matter what, I might be in a storm, but guess what? I'm going through the storm. I'm not stuck in the storm. I might not feel good. My body might not be right. But when I reflect on that healing is one of my daily benefits, it causes me to rejoice. My body might not be acting right right now, but I know healing is the end result. So I'll rejoice about that. That God, Jehovah Rapha, he's my healer. So although the body might be trying to do what it wants to do, but I know that when I tap in, when I begin to rejoice, when I begin to remember what God has already said, to me, glory to God, my body has got to line up to what the word of God says, then it says pray without ceasing, so now that I begin to celebrate, now that I begin to rejoice, it says pray without ceasing, go to my father, cast my cares on him, communicate, don't tell nobody else, but go to the father, the one who can solve it, the one that can give me the resolution, the one that can um, sustain me, the one that will keep me, it says pray without ceasing, don't give up begin to go and talk to my father so there it is I'm celebrating I'm rejoicing and then when I feel like I need to say something I'm going to say it to the one who created me glory to God I'm going to talk to the author and finisher of my faith I'm going to talk to the one who told me that no weapon formed against me may prosper but it may form but ain't nothing gonna happen then it says this then give thanks God I thank you that you're with me God I thank you that you never leave me nor forsake me God, I thank you that as I'm in this storm, that I'm riding through the storm with you, that I'm in the center of this thing where there's safety. Lord, I thank you that you are God. Lord, I thank you that you done spoke a word and said that you're making all things new. So it doesn't matter what it looks like. You're getting ready to make all things new for me. That I can't even imagine what you're about to do. That eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard. That I can't even conceive in my mind what you are about to do in my life. That you you are about to do the exceedingly, the abundantly above all that I could ask or think. See, this is how I stay awake. This is how I don't fall asleep because I begin to rejoice about everything. It doesn't matter what's going on. The situation might not look good, but the worst the situation is, this is more of the opportunity for God to show his glory, for him to show out, for him to show up and let everybody know that he's God. And then now, because it's going to be a stress-free 2023, and I'm on my way to the bigger and better, see, I've switched my brain. I'm not talking to other people about it. I'm talking to the Father because he calls me friend. Glory to God and I'm learning to take on what he says that his yoke is easy and his burdens are light I no longer have an allergic reaction because I'm trying to carry it myself no I don't switch my brain I'm giving that stuff to God I'm giving it to him and I'm not trying to take it back he is God he's been doing this thing for over 20,000 2,000 years so I'm letting him handle this thing and then it says that I'm going to give thanks God I thank you glory to God God God, I just thank you for life. God, I thank you that I'm still here. God, I thank you that there is no residue of what I've been through. So when I begin to just rejoice, glory to God, pray, glory to God, and give thanks, this is how I stay awake. So I'm no longer in a state where God has to come and tell me to get up because I'm awake and I'm staying awake and I'm walking in all the things of God. And so now that I've switched my brain, now that I have renewed my mind, now that my thinking has been transformed to the things of God, I'm walking with a purpose on this morning. I'm walking into my destiny and I'm walking with a joy in my heart. I'm walking with a smile on my face because I've got King Jesus with me and he's already told me to go ahead and don't be afraid because I've already gone before you. And then I realize that I'm sandwiched in between grace and mercy shall follow me all 
other days of my life. So no longer am I going to sleep. No, that's not what I do. I'm awake, fully awake, walking in the things of God and enjoying this life that God has given me. Every day I wake up, I'm saying this is the beginning of the best days of my life. Glory to God. Lord God, we just thank you on this morning. Lord God, we praise your holy name on this morning, God. We give you all the glory because you alone deserve our praise, Lord God. Lord God, we just thank you that we are not who we used to be, Lord God. But we thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are switching our brain with your word, Lord God, that there is no longer any fear here, Lord God. We are walking in your ways, God. Glory to God. So Heartbeat Nation, get ready for the new. Get ready for the bigger and the better. Get ready for God to show himself to you like never, ever before. Listen, that's the daily dosage for today. Hallelujah. Clear the room part two. If you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do so because there you can find all of your dosages in one place. And you definitely got to hear part one if you did not hear it. Follow me on social media platforms. God wants me whole. Visit the website, GodWantsMeWhole.org. You know how we do this thing. Come on, come on, come on. Let's say it together. Come on, say, God wants me whole. And I am getting whole by the minutes. Again, I'm Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness, a.k.a. the heart gatherer. I love you guys a bunch. Go out there. Have a spec while amazing weekend, a spec while amazing Friday. Look out for falling blessings because they, glory to God, they are falling all around you. I love you guys a bunch. And I will see you right back here on Monday morning at 7 30 a.m with another daily dosage again i love you a bunch spec while amazing day spec while amazing weekend to you and i will see you on monday love you guys